good day viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this is girls connection the world connection please remember to subscribe like and share also click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally saint james mother being questioned by police i feel real bad because when she just get to work i was the one staying with the baby I provide for him. She don't even leave nothing for him to show how many morning I said to her, what the baby want to eat? She said, just give him something. Me give him like how me get every other kid inside here. Until she just take up the baby. Me get here one Friday, I look for the baby. Me don't see the baby. Me say to her, say, where is the baby? She said, she send back the baby to the stepfather. So they say, me I take care of the baby. I just take the baby like that. And you know, say, I'm over here wait for the baby the morning. So you know, you know what's the name of the child? Aiden Rose. Aiden Rose. Because they're primary school. Uh, he's seven a, year old. Seven year old. Oh, yeah. That's the size of my daughter. That's why it shook me. This morning now, as me open shop, she come call me. Sell her a craving here. Then she just said to me politely, Aiden dead, you know candy. So I said, Aiden dead. She don't say it with that trimmer, you know. Normally somebody would have lost their child, not even have tears from her eyes. She just a smoke and a drink. I feel it in my heart because it's Saturday last time I see baby. Saturday morning. You know. Earlier today, a St. James mother was taken into custody for questioning by the police in connection with the death of her seven-year-old son. The body, of Hayden, the body of Hayden Rose was discovered in a small banana field outside his home in Bickers Teth this morning. Rose was a grade one student at Bickers Death Primary School and live in Johnson Common, which is also in Bickers Death. The police report that the child's body was discovered about 7.30 a.m. and an alarm was raised. A police team was dispatched to the area. Upon the arrival of detectives, the boy was found lying face down in bushes with what appeared to be a chop wound to the back of his head. Further investigation at the scene led to the discovery of blood inside his house, which resulted in his mother being taken into custody on suspicion of murder. Residents have theorized that the child may have been killed late Sunday night and his body dumped in the banana field. This is Girls Connection, the World Connection. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.